no gains and getting rich. But you got to think about it like this. It can't be a maxi. It can't be a Solana maxi. You can't be a Pulse Chain maxi. But my bets are on Pulse Chain because for this one fact, just like Zach said, it's a first cycle coin. Why would you get into a coin that's already had its huge pump in the first cycle? you got to get into the new shit because the new shit is where the most speculation is. If you're here to make money, you're going to get onto the new shit. So I'm going to say that the tech is better than Solana, which I, I mean, I believe it is. That's just my opinion. But it's not what you, most of you guys are here for. Some of you guys are here for the tech, for sure. And we appreciate that. And we need that. But if you're here for gains, think of it like this. How many X's does Solana do in its first cycle? And how many X's is it going to do in its second cycle? It's probably going to be less than its first cycle. And that's where your opportunity is with Pulse Chain. So, yeah. And also, too, to say the, the community is what really matters. You can have the best tech in the world, but if you don't got the community, you're not going to be, you know, you're not going to be surviving long term. Your community is what drives your chain and drives the activity for you to stay on it and for you to use their protocols. And I know there's a lot of innovation happening on Pulse Chain. Uh, there could be other innovations happening on Solana too, and uh, I'm sure there is. But we all have our favorite projects, and we're all exploring. But I'm telling you, like, Pulse Chain isn't a dead chain. There's people building on it, like the Internet Money Wallet. Like, that is a sick project. It's a docs dev, and the wallet pays 100% of its fees um, to their token holders. So imagine if you had MetaMask's token, and you were earning just a share of the revenue. Bro, you'd be rich just off, just off of the fees. So... There's opportunity like that on Pulse Chain as well. So I'm just saying that if you're here to make money, don't be a maxi and get rid of your biases because you got to diversify. You got to diversify. So that's all I'll say. We had a little bit of a, a battle of the blockchains earlier. It was kind of, I don't know, it was a little bleak. We didn't get a great showing from the Solana community. Pulse kind of came out in droves. They always show up with the army, um, uh, you know, one Pulse gradient background pfp shows up and uh next thing you know you have 60 in the audience and they're all like waving their pitchforks there's torches in the audience um people are throwing molotov cocktails up here at us on stage uh shit's on fire it's it's a disaster with the pulse people they're they're animals we love them is is pulse like the hex token chain like pulse chain is that the same thing or is that something uh, with Boy. Oh no. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's the same um, thing. Wait, Josh, Josh. No, uh, it's not the same thing. It's two different <laughs> things. <laughs> it's mellow, mellow. Go ahead and explain it to Josh since he wasn't here for that. Yeah, so so yeah, post and hex is not the same thing. Post chain is a blockchain. Uh hex is just a token with staking. Um Two, two different things. One's a DeFi protocol and one's a blockchain where you can process transactions, launch, deploy smart contracts, and all of that good DeFi stuff. God, it's it's Pulse Chain, though. It's the same thing that was associated with Hex and Richard Hart uh, whenever the hell it came out. Or is this, yeah. this something yeah. completely different and new? Yeah. Same yeah. You remember <laughs> back in 2021 when it was absolutely ripping and it wouldn't stop? Yeah, yeah, back then, back then, yeah. I, yeah, I, I got a little bit of hex back then because so, I heard about that, all that. So let me ask you something. Do you think you, you remember back then, right? Of course. Do you re, do you think that in the next bull market we'll make more money on Solana or Pulse? Solana, a thousand percent. Why? Because uh, who uses Pulse? I don't. I don't. I don't hear anybody who uses Pulse, and if they do, they're very quiet about it. Oh no! I think that's one thing that Elon needs to fucking fix. Uh, the algorithm on Twitter is fucked. If you don't, if you don't like comment repost anything that someone on post chain or someone on another chain is you will not see their thing i don't see a most of other chains as well but i know they exist right but and they also post chain was like top three volume chain first three months it was out right and it's still holding at like 11 right now so i mean it's volume is there um and then when you say solana ripping that's negative uh look at the market cap look at the price where it's at now it can only maybe do what a three four five x um what post chain is still red like primed and ready you know it's a set it's you so it has way more gains that is seen than solana's first bull run right so uh this is we haven't seen the bull run yet but when the bull run comes you know i think it will do astronomically so do you think deep in your heart that there's a path for pulse to become i guess let's say less volatile 
<laughs> to be simple about it. So people can actually put in massive amounts of money and make this, you know. Yeah. So I think once, it, once, yes, once the, he, cause you know, whole thing about Richard Hart, you know, he said it's fix the money, fix the world. Right. It's like, yo, it's trying to actually do the transfer of wealth. Um, and we're actually being part of that right now. And when that happens, we're positioning ourselves. Of course, diversifying is great. Um, but with this, when you say like when we're coming to X's, um, I think that this would have more X's because it is young. It is. It has a lot more to grow and get to these other, uh, uh, I guess, chains statue or stature with like marketing and connections and collaborative um, infrastructures. And we will see the bull when when the bull run comes. We'll have our first bull run because every L one has done almost like six hundred, maybe more uh, X's. And Richard Hart did say he, you know, he wants to make a, as many millionaires as possible. And when those millionaires do come about on post chain, they will see you will see a lot of support. You will see a lot of liquidity. Then you will see more people coming in with the liquidity there, right? Um, and now you, you know, you don't have to worry about the main guy, I guess, whatever you, OA address you guys are co concerned about, dump it as much. I don't know if he ever, ever going to dump, really. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I feel what you're saying. Like, if the community can, can rally and build, then there may be money to be made. But, like, anything that, I mean, there's obviously, who's to say that the, the current, you know, I mean, you save high volume and stuff like that. It's just, like, I worry. From the outside, I worry if I get into that, I'm going to get dumped on. There's a lot of risk. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's anywhere, every time, I mean, every yeah. place. Ain't no. I guess thing buying soul everywhere. with the with the amount of money it just went up is risky, but I don't know. Yeah, you're right. I guess. And with soul, you have a lot of people that you know are been in there for a long time that you know at any time can dump, and then you know it's just it, with it's like here. I'm only being nice about record. it. I'm you only being nice record. about it because I, I understand that it does look like the only place it could really go from this point is up. But it, it, anything like that, we know it's really not the reality. It's just what it looks like. As Yeah, there's a lot of upside, you know, if we return to. I don't think there'll ever be something again like what happened, um, you know, in the spring of 2021 and that summer. Um, so it's like, uh, am I going to risk my money or are people? It's not really me. Are folks going to risk massive amounts of money um, to really make it move? Or am I just exit liquidity putting in a small amount of money? Is what it, It's supposed to be retail centric. But at this point, I think most understand because of 2021 that it's really not. Retail is what ends up losing, um, at least from what I see with chains like this. Um, but obviously, there's still money to be made. So, But Josh, or first, go ahead. We're kind of just kicking it. You guys, are, you don't have to put your hands up, to be honest. No, I, I just didn't want to interrupt. I wanted to let him finish. Yeah, I was trying to look up the ticker on uh, coin market cap, and I just couldn't find it. But I, I found it. I looked up Richard Hart. Isn't Richard Hart like MIA right now? That's why I kind of raised my hand. Isn't he like yeah, no, on the run? Yeah, it's like the, the founder of the whole chain's like gone, running from the police. He's not um, gone. Have you seen? Have you have you seen his Twitter? He's actually posting on Twitter. Is he really? I, mean, I was following him too, and I haven't seen anything pop up. I was just trying to search him, and I'm like, where the fuck? Yeah, is check he? the dates. Check the dates. Uh, there are uh, uh, posts. But, but yeah, he's, but not, he's, running, he's like, not running at all. He actually has been keeping uh, updates. You know, so minimal, what would happen if right? he came to the United States? Um, I don't know. Yeah. And I I don't think he's charged criminally. Like it's not there on paper that he's criminally charged. It's more on um, a case with yeah, it's like, like a civil case. They're like suing yeah. him basically. Yeah, and so they want money. They want either to, it says it on there. They want him to either to stop, never do it again, or pay up. That's I also question wants. though if he can return to the United States based on some other things as well. I don't really know if they are really out to get him or not at this point. Is my thing. Um, and I'd like more clarity, I guess, on the situation before. They're not out to get him. You know what no. I'm saying? I don't, they, I don't think they're out like to get him. He's not a criminal. Like Interpol's not after him. But, like, can he just walk around in the United States like nothing happened? It's doubtful. Yes, he's not criminally charged. He could do that. But he, he has. it's not like you're going to see a picture. Oh, TMZ, uh, Richard Hart spotted at uh, Miami Richard Hart sex shop. Like, no. Fair, fair. He knows he knows better, and I think with any founders, like you have to be careful because uh, there's going to be a lot of hate, and there's going those haters are going to be um down your neck. Any sighting, they're pulling up. Mm -hmm. I yeah. I might just be mainstream, but I do want my founder able to cross international borders. Um, 
I, I know dude, he's... Vitalik walks around with bodyguards. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, bro. The more, but first, I think the more first go ahead. I think the more important question to ask is like, what happens to the chain if the founder does die? Because we've seen this happen with a lot of different protocols. It could blow up. Satoshi it could blow up, bro. That's what I'm, I was saying that last time too. Like, if Richard's not involved, like maybe it blows up. Bro, more. Richard is Satoshi, yo. Or or Richard facilitates it to do something more than than we all expected. I mean, I think at this point he should be given the a certain amount of credit for what he's been able to accomplish, and oh, it would make sense. Bro. It would make it would also it would make sense if. Uh, if they were coming after him as well, I mean, we got to think about the SEC and all that they've been doing well, one after one after one, trying to go after Bitcoin, trying to go after Ethereum, and then you have XRP, and then now Richard's next in line. So, I mean, if we don't think, I mean, I 100 if we don't can't all agree that the SEC is corrupt and that you know we have legislators fighting right now to change things um, with the way the United States relate ha- has a relationship with the SEC and its governance protocols. I mean, we've got to really question something if we if we can't really see through that and and know that. And another question mm-hmm. I I wanted to ask was, what's like what's the game theory on Solana? Like, are you guys like able to trade off of volatility right now and pump more Solana into your bags? Because say like for the most part, that's what we've been able to do on the Pulse chain, and it, it's been extremely extremely lucrative to say the least. And to be mm-hmm. able to do that in a bear market, I'm just curious if like if that's the kind of activity that's helping you build your Solana bag or like what's the game theory well it, I mean it, I'm sorry it, so with any with any go given ahead. chain you have the capability if you're invested in it enough and like you guys sound uh very knowledgeable about the pulse chain so like if a year ago I got involved in it and that's all like that's your thing then yeah you can make gains on that by doing whatever you're doing on that side of it but Solana you can still do that as well they're staking for Solana just like pulse chain but it's a Solana's a layer one it's kind of comparing uh two different things because that's a, a fork pulse chain's a fork off of Ethereum so I'm sure there's higher fees involved than um than no, Solana no, no? It's not. that's that's it's... the whole point of pulse chain is that it has pennies worth where versus Ethereum uh, uh, you're going to pay $200 right now. People are tweeting all about their Ethereum woes right now. And you have the same exact copies. It is a layer one blockchain. And you're able to trade in and out of volatility right now while the chain is so fresh and so new. You're able to explore into a lot of different things, which I'm, I'm curious if that's the same nature of the blockchain of Solana right now. Is there is there a lot of things going on? Is there a lot of uh, a lot of stuff to look at? Is there so much to research that you can't find you, you can find something new every day? I'm just I'm curious because I live in this echo chamber and I create content in this echo chamber and I'm constantly, you know, this is the one that I'm winning in. So I obviously want to cross pollinate with Solana community and find out what's going on over there. I want you to understand what's going on over here and really give the that communication the ability to give me the chance to flourish. So I'm just I'm curious if what's the what's the environment like for you on a day to day basis? No, but it, it's a, yeah, there's a lot of interaction with the, the community, the And anybody in Solana NFTs or Solana in general on the Twitter feeds and in the groups, it's just a a great, a great positive vibe all the way around. And like you said, with the Ethereum thing, we were, I said, I was going to say we, like I own Solana, but we're like all the Ethereum people are coming over to Solana as well. Um, And maybe we can research it a bit, but Solana Specifically, the Phantom Wallet just opened up a bridge that you can easily swap Ethereum and other chains to Solana and back and forth with like super ease, almost zero fees. Like they're very interoperable between all of the other chains, which week by week, there's like more and more happening with Solana and their expansion. It's it's just insane. And I got to say, the founder of Solana wearing a dragon suit, Puff the Magic dragon suit down at the... Uh, the the in Amsterdam was just fucking awesome. I don't know if Richard Hart has ever worn a dragon suit before, but uh, but yeah, no, people are making money on the NFTs and building games on there. The even the shit tokens within Solana are being adopted and picked up in use in games. Uh, that Bonk token, for instance, that got picked up and is being used in a lot of different ecosystems. It's crazy how easy it is to intertwine all of these different things on the Solana chain. Yes, yeah, so he's he, he's he's basically trying to say that we have everything. Like we have NFTs and we have lending borrowing and it's just more developed. So it's tough to to even, you know, try to compare it to Pulse Chain's, you know, community in general community. Um I heard Cardano's better than both. Is are those rumors true guys? 
Cardano. Cardano has a couple. I know a couple guys who founded projects on Cardano that were pretty successful, but I haven't checked in a while, to be honest. Cardano's dead as fuck. I was I was just waiting for somebody to say that, but anyways, keep going. Cardano might be dead, yeah. But um, yeah, man, no, we have we have stable coins. We have algorithmic stable coins. We have fucking DeFi protocols. We have borrow lending. We have you know a very very developed NFT space to the point where there's money to be made on a weekly basis, even a not I mean daily basis. <laughs> Tough with NFTs, right? Um, obviously it's a little burnt out oversaturated right now but um there's definitely space for even assets inside of you know sectors of the i guess the economy the are solana those tru- economy you are can those make truly a lot of money decentralized so. are those truly decentralized stable coins uh i don't know probably not to be honest i don't i don't know enough on that topic but <laughs> um yeah, I don't know. I mean, the the stable coins like USD. I was just telling you there's money to be made, basically. Like, yeah, no, you, you <laughs> mean stable coins like USDC? Maybe, maybe not you're going to buy it soul and it's going to X as many times as Hex might. But inside of the community and also taking, taking into account risk, um, you can make money on Solana 100% every week if you know what you're doing. I just specifically ask about the stable coins because I think that's definitely a huge play coming up. And like, I got to consider USDC or Tether to be a truly decentralized mm-hmm. entity. But I think I just think uh, for anybody out there that's interested in stable coins and trying to find truly decentralized ones, you, you have the opportunity to, to do that over here as well. So that's awesome to hear that you guys have that, too. Hey, you know, I think this is a good thing to happen in this space at this time because it just goes to show that we we all need Richard to win this. Um, it's going to be huge for the crypto space. So we're kind of all we're kind of all in the same boat if you think about it uh and uh we we all need the someone that's out here fighting for the people in the pulse chain community they've got it's like ten thousand signatures on some official documents you know trying to really talk to the government so we're, we we are really trying to do some things over here and i just i thought that was crazy that that news broke right right as we're doing the space yeah we know you're pulse maxi you, you you don't like salon it's all good let's go to donald go yeah, I just had a question. Where where can I find information about the structure of Solana? Because I don't know that much about it that I would. I mean, I obviously there's a lot of the SEC stuff that's coming out that just it, it seems like a witch hunt, and they're just going after everybody and they're throwing darts at a dartboard, and they're just like bringing everybody into court just to kind of like slow down the progress. You know, I, I hear people that are like huge PhDs and MIT graduates and stuff, and they're just going, "Yeah." He goes, "It's it's obvious that the that the SEC is throwing up all these different uh, lawsuits just to throw a you know a stick in the spokes, you know, to slow the progress down, and it's the worst thing that the American uh, government could be allowing to happen." Uh, so, but still, at the same time, what is the what is the breakdown of the way that uh, Solana was built in the first place. I mean, is it is it was it built by an organization or was it built by uh, is it totally decentralized? I mean, I, I don't know enough about it. Could someone explain what they would consider it to be? I, yeah, I mean, it's I, basically I, built by a uh, it's built it's built by a Russian dude or something and uh, his team. Um, OK. And um, yeah, I mean, if you want to check it out, like Solana dot coms, you know, solana.com probably slash solana white paper or oh, okay solana dash white paper or something like that um okay I, I would go on solana.com there's definitely a link to a white paper where you can read everything about you know pretty much i mean i wouldn't say the history or the team i would just probably google let me find something that might help you i'll dm it to you yeah that's one, one of the things too is i i always thought that all time high is 250 um, for, I was always it's, concerned it's, about that that idea because there were a lot of people that were throwing shade on on Richard for taking and making basically like a, a fork of Ethereum. But at the same time, it was like you're, you're taking something that's already proven and accepted as the technology that was there. And then they're just saying, okay, we're going to just fork it and we're going to make a copy of it, but we're going to lower the gas fees and all that stuff, which is great. But at the same time, it was doing something that was kind of strategically good in in my opinion it was using Mm -hmm. tried and tested kind of uh technology or yeah yeah it's the thing uh, that like over well while you guys have richard you know we we have like a pretty we have the solana foundation you know what i'm saying so there's a lot of investment over here um 
I guess, yeah, if that answers your question anymore about like who's kind of yeah. behind it or how did it form. I mean, obviously, yeah, it, at one point it was just technology, right? And at the end of the day, in five, 10 years from now, it'll just be technology. Um, so a lot of yeah. foundation, whoever's a lot of smart it, developers, <laughs> definitely a lot, a lot of, of smart, smart developers. developers. I mean, there's smart devs on Pulse, man. There's some, there's some dope yeah. people building on Pulse and the community's cool. And, you know, there might be, you know, opportunities to make more X's, but in terms of tech, Hello's like, a dev. Hey, it's been around just, way just too long. one other question. Do, do you guys have an existing like lending protocol on Solana right now? Yeah, there's tons of them. Oh, okay. Blockchain versus blockchain. Uh, Post has d done it again. Uh, we, we're 2 and 0, but it's amazing to see all this connections being made. Um, that infrastructure that we all chasing for. Um, you know, I hope we can all find the solutions and the places that best fit our needs. And, uh, you know, we win.